What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Weston Smith here, and today we do a huge in-depth audio test with the brand new GoPro Media Mod. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Let's jump right in to it. You can hear this right here. Oh yeah, wind's ripping through. All right, well, if you can hear me, that's a good thing, and if not... Okay, so we are now on the front mic. I'm assuming the fountain is getting picked up a lot more. All right, now how is this? This is what I'm talking about right here. This is the audio we're after, I would assume. Make sure to stick around till the end for our final thoughts on this piece because it really does make a huge difference in the end once we've done all this testing. YouTube, we are here today to talk about the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod, newly released. Actually, I pre-ordered this thing the first day you could put in a pre-order for it on uh, GoPro's official website. I feel like I got it pretty early, which was the goal. I wanted to talk about this thing and uh, give my impressions, opinions on it. We're gonna do all the testing outdoors. I make fishing vlogs. 95% of the footage in my videos on a day-to-day -day basis are probably coming from a GoPro. And so the only reason I decided to upgrade was because of this Media Mod Kit and how much better the audio quality can be utilizing this tool right here, but I'm also gonna talk about what I've noticed first impressions real quickly indoors because there's a couple pitfalls as well. So let's talk about those. There's an indention on the media mod that makes it to where that pin that you tighten can only go in from one direction. If you tighten it this way, I'll just show you. Where's the pin? La -da 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 -da. So if you try and put the pin in from this direction here, it, uh, it won't tighten down. You'll see it, it hits the body of that media mod and it won't allow it to screw tight. That indention that you can hopefully see right here. And that allows it to go in just a little bit further and for you to be able to actually tighten it up. So let's put this in the chest mount and I'm gonna show you a couple of the first pitfalls I noticed with this thing because of course we want the best audio in the business but there's a couple things that come along with it. So I actually haven't mounted it on the chest mount yet with the new attachment, but uh, the GoPro is unlimited to this angle right here. I did not realize that. Uh, it's not terrible. It's honestly not terrible. Maybe I'll keep it. I did get this knowing that there's a direct mic input. And so now, now, and so now I can have a mic plugged in straight to the back with no adapter, which is gonna be huge. But the thing is, uh, it's one more thing to get in the way, so if we didn't have to use it because the audio quality from the shotgun mic is fantastic, then that is great. Guys, before we take this thing outside, I also want to do a quick showcase of the uh, most popular vlogging mic on the market right now because of its price and reliability, the Rode Video Micro mic. Let's go ahead and plug this thing into the GoPro because a lot of people are actually talking about doing this, so I would like to showcase it. One thing that's going to happen is this fuzz is going to get in the way, right, of your lens. The GoPro lens is definitely going to pick that up. Well, you can avoid that. A lot of people don't understand that this Rode Video Micro has these built-in slots here where you actually put the cable and you can mm, get it real tight in there. Boom, look. Oh man, if you even needed to snip a little bit, take a little off the top, give it that number one with your clippers, feel free. But this is how you're gonna be able to use the Rode Video Micro and uh, you'd probably be using some sort of tripod or handle, but I'm not. So you'd be vlogging like this, right? And so this could be a great option. I'm gonna take this outside real quick and give you a quick audio test with the Rode Video Micro in the backyard, just to show you what it's like with this mic on, protected from the wind noise. Zeke, you wanna go? All right, y'all, so here's a quick uh, audio test with the Video Micro outdoors. You might be able to see the fuzzies a little bit. We found out that didn't look too hot pretty quickly, didn't we? So this is with the lens on wide. I've seen some people like do some tests with this thing in the Rode Video Mic, so here's what you've gotta do. This is the perspective on wide. You're still capturing a little bit but here's linear. Here's the linear perspective. Basically, if this was me, I'd probably cut a little bit off the bottom, but naturally it does not look the greatest and it's probably gonna get in the way. So what I would do is just get something for the hot shoe that's gonna elevate this a little bit more. I'm sure there's gonna be pieces sold soon with this being coming a major buy for folks trying to use external mics like this. So I'm sure there's gonna be something to just elevate the positioning of this mic a little bit so that it will be out of the way and you'll be all set. It's just a few of the first things that I noticed and I think we're gonna actually take this thing out and get some testing done with it and uh, see what it's actually made of because we want to hear the audio quality. That's what we came here for. So let's go ahead and get outside and see what this thing is all about. All right, let's see what this thing's all about. I'm even wearing a jacket that would usually ruffle up against the uh, other mic and see how this thing sounds. I know it's gonna sound good in here. I've got it set up on the back microphone. It's pretty windy out. I don't expect it. To, uh, I don't expect it to sound too good. But if you guys can hear me over the wind, that's a plus. 
First impressions inside the cabin are still, even without wind or anything, it's uh, muffled and not as good as I was hoping, and I kind of anticipated that after seeing a couple reviews. This is with the uh, rear-facing mic. We're gonna do some tests, and then we're gonna test the front-facing, and then finally, the lapel mic. We're gonna film on this back microphone for a minute, and then I'm gonna switch over to a uh, lapel mic, and I'm gonna show you just how good this audio is gonna get. Now, uh, we can see the horizon, but it's definitely angled down a little bit more than I would like. You know, typically the angle's probably like this right here. So we might, um, we might just have to use that other mount here in a little bit as well. I did bring that. I just wanna, there we go. The wind should be hitting the back microphone right now. I wonder how you guys can hear this right here. Oh yeah, wind's ripping through. All right, well, if you can hear me, that's a good thing. And if not, that's kind of expected. I'm using just the shotgun mic here. I'm not, there's no mics on the media mod. I'm gonna go ahead and run around this corner as I typically do in fishing vlogs. See if you guys can pick up my voice over the sound of my jacket um it's making more noise than most clothing would because it's this uh material here all right so here's where things are going to get interesting uh i'm getting close to this i'm getting very close to this fountain which should be pretty it's it's pretty noisy this is when you oh here's the little here's some little bait fish look at that little gills this is a good spot to cast for a bass right here so i'm curious how much of this fountain is picking up because it is quite noisy and uh, this is where this thing could potentially shine. I hear a lot of the traffic noise off the highway there. And uh, yeah, we're just curious how this thing's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to the front-facing microphone and I'm gonna see how much audio it picks up with the front-facing microphone. I'm expecting it to pick up a lot more of the fountain and a lot more of the traffic. Uh, it should still get my voice pretty good though. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna switch it right now. Okay, so we are now on the front mic. I'm assuming the fountain is getting picked up a lot more. So if you guys are watching this, you've probably already gathered that you're not going to want to use this thing for strict audio being the best of the best. It is uh, clearly not that. Uh, I was expecting much more, especially for people to be using this on an outdoor basis, mainly like using it for vlog style stuff. It's just not as good as anticipated, but that's fine. I knew that going into it and I figured I was going to be using a lapel mic plugged into the back or some sort of external mic. You guys might put a, a Rode Video Micro on this. You might also use a wireless mic. There's so many options now because of that mic port. That is what I was really after. So the audio starts to get uh, mm, pristine here in just a minute, but we're going to test out the front facing mic as well and then we're gonna do the lapel mic. Uh, there's not a whole lot of traffic going by at this moment, so there's not too much road noise. But there will be more. Let's just stick this out for a second. And this is gonna be a popular issue for us fishing vloggers if we're using the media mod kit and expecting to use that front verse mic, uh, I'm sorry, front verse back microphone on this thing. So now with that being said, wow, somebody has carved up a bluegill right here. Boy, did I not see that on the way down. Interesting. So the front facing mic seems a hair better, maybe because it's got that larger surface area or however many, I don't, I don't know. The front mic seems to be a little bit better audio quality, which could be good for you vlogging folks wanting to use a GoPro for all purpose intentions. But uh, for me, it's not good enough to justify 80 bucks on this and having to upgrade strictly to the Hero 8 just to use this thing. Uh, but the mic makes all the difference. We're about to plug it in, check this out. This is where it gets good. And this is why you'd want to spend the money. With that being said, let's go ahead and uh, plug in our external mic. This is where the game changes, ladies and gents. Let's see what we're working with now. All right, now how is this? This is what I'm talking about right here. This is the audio we're after, I would assume. Look at this. Wind, wind blowing right at us. You can still hear pretty good, but we're not quite on top of the hill, so let's go up there and see what kind of a difference this mic doesn't make. Again, this is a lapel mic. This is like an $8 mic. I got it off Amazon, maybe. I don't even remember. Anyways, let's come up here. There we go. Now the wind's hitting us. This would sound bad on the GoPro. Let's cast over here straight into the wind. And uh, yeah, this is probably as good as the audio is going to get. And uh, oh yeah, here's the wind. Look at this. It's choppy. I am cold just looking at this bank. This sucks. I will not be out here long. On the tail end of my flu sickness that I've been dealing with this whole week, it has been ridiculous. So as you guys can see, the wind's blowing right at me. This would be terrible audio on the GoPro. You guys know that. And, uh, and it's sounding how it sounds. So I don't know if it's good yet or not, but we about to review all of this. And uh, this is gonna be the way I use this GoPro right here. Uh, I'm not gonna be switching out batteries every hour. I'm gonna have this portable 
my charge portable charger in my pocket. Instead of battery switches, I'm just gonna plug it straight into the back of this media mod, and then I'm gonna have good audio and a constant charge on my GoPro all day without switching batteries and without worrying about sound. So, of course, the sound right here is not gonna be as good as in typical vlogs because it's not always as windy as it is right now blowing right in my face, but the fact of the matter is using these lapel mics is so much better than the GoPro audio would be in this situation. And that's really all you gotta worry about. This is as top notch as the audio is gonna get. It's gonna sound almost as good as probably me using my big camera mic uh, or me talking to you on the big camera. And that is because we are using an external mic with the GoPro. The problem with that in the past was you had to use the mic adapter. The problem with the mic adapters is you lose connection. Uh, it ruined a lot of vlogs of mine. And so this is just a straight input to the back of the media mod, which makes a huge difference. Let's try running with the uh, lapel mic on. Now this is strapped uh, pretty much straight to my jacket. So you might hear some rubbing, but like, let's get a little running sequence. And now you can hear what it's like when I'm running. If I was talking and there was no mic plugged in and it was just straight GoPro audio, this would sound like garbage. And it probably sounds better than garbage because I'm using that mic. So if that was the case, we shall find out in post-production. This has been a pretty uh, intense audio test, I would say, with the old media mod. I mean, I'm literally doing what people in the outdoors would use this for. I'm glad there's a breeze today, that way you get a true wind test. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit different if you're using this for something like motocross, snowboarding, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna get a little bit more noise. Um, there's definitely ways to rig up a lapel mic in those situations to capture less of it. If you're talking about just outdoor sporting activities, this is gonna be the best audio you can get now utilizing this media mod. So, pretty stoked for it. I think you guys are probably enjoying the audio quality of this right here. All right guys, that's that. My hands are freezing in about 15 minutes. That did not take long at all. I was hoping it wouldn't. I'm just trying to get back to the house at this point and warm up. So, what I'm gonna do is have a portable charger on me with the GoPro connector piece, this USB-C connector, and I can literally leave this in my pocket with this cord going from the pocket straight into the back of the GoPro. Boom. So that's plugged in. So basically I'm gonna have two things plugged into my media mod at all times. If the audio from the shotgun mic is no good, there's the front facing mic. There is the rear facing mic. Those are the settings you can choose between. And uh, unless you're in loop mode, which is super weird, which I won't worry about because again, I'm gonna have a mic plugged in. Uh, and then also the perspective, the angle of the GoPro was a little bit further down in this video. I'm gonna change that. There's plenty of connector pieces you can get to uh, handle that and get it to be upright. But also if you use a previous GoPro's connector piece, that is just fine. Uh, and so that's that. I mean, I've got my mic, my lapel mic right here. I've just got it uh, taped up a little bit. You can see so that the cord is not going crazy, a shorter cable. That way the cord's not just all over the place. And that's how I handle the audio and no more switching out batteries for me in future videos. And we're gonna see how this thing works. You know, if it sucks, I'll just go back to the older GoPros and audio will suck again and it'll be fine and dandy. Let's get back to the house and review this footage though. All right guys, so there you have it. If you want better audio than anybody in the game, you have to pick this up and you have to use an external mic. Just get yourself a cheap one and it's gonna do way better than this crummy shotgun thing that's included. But for 80 bucks, uh, maybe call it 100 with a microphone, you're getting the best audio out there and I think that is worth it. You can hardly put a price on it when you're making videos for YouTube and you're really trying to give the best first impression uh, to your channel or maybe you're trying to give the best tips out there and those tips are hindered by the audio quality or maybe you're trying to show excitement and uh, and there's no energy because the fact is the audio cannot be heard there's muffling there's all these different reasons why this makes all the difference and so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys are interested in this thing I will leave it down in the description for the cheapest price I can find I hope you got some value out of today's video if it did help you or could help somebody that you know who's looking into this or maybe doesn't even know about it. Go ahead and share this video with them and hopefully we can get this thing out there to more folks who are interested in up in their audio game in 2020. Let's go. Peace. <gasps>